Um, I'm going to miss out I for now because I can't really think of one apart from iguana and I don't really know how to draw those so I'll have to do a bit of research. Um, so moving on to J. I'm going to do a jackdaw. I was thinking about a jaguar but we've done a leopard already which is very very similar. So I'm going to do a jackdaw. Um, part of the crow family. One of my favourites in the crow family just because I like their character. They're really bold. Um, so let's have a go at doing a J. Really nice to do with pencils as well because we're just talking shades of greys and blacks. Just doing the head. So I'm going to bring it fairly round on the top and straighten it to the back. Keeping a slight curve in there and allow it to come out. And not quite as low down. I'm going to cut it off about here. That's where my beak's going to be. And I'm just going to make that a little bit fluffier. And then it will come out to the breast. All right, and straight line out. Bit of a funny angle for drawing this one, never mind. Quite a sharp, medium length beak. And then we've got this sort of, um, I don't know what the name is. There's a bulgy bit just up here. And in terms of the patterning, bring it in nice and dark along this top section. And you've got a nice, bright, sharp eye. And I'm going to put a little bit of shading in around like that at the moment. And a bit of cheek mark as well. And I want nice central very sharp eye like so and take my time I'm doing this very very quickly I'm going to put in that ring around the eye because that's quite important now this is really black again I'm working with a HB at the minute rather than my preferred 4B that's become my favorite pencil I'm going to flatten this top out just a little bit so again with the feathers I'm letting them flow over the top. So I can't just shade vertically or horizontally. It's got to be in the direction of how the feathers would grow. So when I'm using the pencil, it's got two jobs. It's giving me the color. And it's also giving me the texture as well. So I know how those feathers are growing. And I will be putting extra lines in there as well. Now this, yeah, the, 4B would be better. I'd like it a little bit darker, but never mind. It will do the job. I think that could be a little bit further out there. And that could be a bit more over there. That will do. And really quickly. I just want this to be in greys, so I'm not pressing down as hard. It's all about the direction. So here, it's going to be going down. It's almost a cheek line here. Shading in on the neck as well. Those feathers begin to change the direction a little. And at this point, it would get darker again, but we can't see that, so that does not matter. Maybe just suggest it like so. And then finish off. There we go. Really quick, really easy. Jackdaw's head. 